Y'all, I cannot, cannot believe this, but Barbie finally, finally after how many years? Barbie has now taken over my job. That's right. Hey everybody, I'm Elise Explosion and I'm here with you today with a Barbie unboxing. And no, Barbie is not a YouTuber, though Barbie has been a YouTuber, uh, but I'm talking about my day job right now. For those of you who may be new to the channel or just haven't picked up on it, that's okay. I don't really talk about it a lot, uh, but I am an environmental scientist. Environment, I'm an environmental consulting in the private sector and I have closely followed Barbie um, for a bit now. I've, I just, I really like the Barbie I Can Be line. I love to see the different careers they come out with for. And uh, amusingly enough, it was not one of my doll friends that clued me into this one, but rather one of my coworkers posted on our uh, Teams channel saying, hey, uh, there's an environmental Barbie now. And I, I was like, really? <laughs> now? <laughs> Uh, but as it turns out, as part of the uh, the Barbie recycle line, uh, they came out with the Barbie Eco Leadership Team, and I am I am so thrilled. Now, granted, this Barbie is not exactly my job, but it is the closest that I have gotten to Barbie representation in my line of work uh, ever. So, I mean, you guys may know me from the videos, but nine times out of 10, I usually look a little bit more like this. Uh, as you can see, safety vest, hard hat, gross fieldness. Um, and this one caught my eye in that regard. I'm like, hey, Barbie's out in the field. What's going on? Uh, but if we flip around to the back, you can see there are actually four dolls in this pack. Uh, they are all made from recycled plastic. All of the fabric of the clothing is made from recycled plastic. Um, with And the dolls, with the exception of the head and the hair, uh, because obviously the vinyl of the head that they can root and the, fi the fibers that they use for the hair are not, in fact, recyclable. Uh, but there is a renewable energy engineer, and I'm just going to forget about the, the, the renewable energy part and just she's an environmental engineer which is as close as you can get to my job as humanly possible. There is a chief sustainability officer and it looks like she is on the curvy body. Uh, there is a conservation scientist. I believe she might be on the tall body. An environmental advocate who I think might be on the petite body. So we have like the, the entire spectrum of Barbie body type coverage here. And there's a pretty good diversity within the cast as well. Uh, so you can pause to read, uh, if I can get this in frame. Uh, yeah, you can, you can pause to read what they say if you would like, but it is a very well described, uh, initiative. And I believe this is with the, the blessing of the Jane Goodall Institute, which is another great environmental cause, but I am, I am going to open this up and oh my goodness. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon for about $30, which I didn't see anywhere else, but for four dolls, that feels like a pretty good price. And especially, uh, I do like Barbie, even though it is not my main line of collection, uh, but I definitely plan on doing a lot more Barbie videos coming up soon. So you might want to stick around if you haven't subscribed already, it might be worth a shot. So, oh my God. This is apparently the 2022 career of the year as well. Uh, so I'm gonna be right back. I am going to remove, oh, no, no, just kidding. Here we are. So yes, here we have all four dolls uh, and I will remove them from their non-plasticky prison and I will be right back. So stay tuned. Okay, we're back. And I'm both very impressed and a little disappointed right now. Uh, so for disappointments, uh, the dolls are sadly not on uh, made to move bodies. So they do not have good articulation. They can move their shoulders. Um, they can move their legs a little bit out and forward and back. Uh, but there is no elbow and no wrist articulation, no ankle and no knee articulation. Um, and I guess they have a little bit of hip mo motion, but um, that's kind of a bummer. Additionally, um, the clothes are kind of screen printed and that is a big bummer. 
As you can see, the dress is one piece, kind of screened on. Uh, the color does not move onto the back, which is a little bit of a bummer. Uh, I will say that the the outer garments are hemmed, as are the 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 inner inner garments. That's not a word. Um, but the the regular clothing, it is all hemmed, which is very nice. Uh, but the details are a little bit lost. So this right here, we're going to start with uh, with our Curvy Barbie. And Curvy Barbie is the Chief Sustainability Officer. Now she comes with little white flats. Uh, she's got a pink power suit sort of deal. Uh, as I mentioned, it is all screened onto one outfit, but it looks like she's supposed to be wearing a button down with a belt. Uh, and she has her little laptop, which as you can see, uh, she's got some bar graphs, things are decreasing, but that looks like a good thing for her. Uh, and she's also, uh, I believe this is supposed to be hers, but she's got her little sustainable cell phone. Um, so I'm just gonna, she's gonna slip this on like she is Charlotte Pickles. Uh, Jonathan, buy, sell, buy, sell. Not like that. Um, so that, that is our chief sustainability officer and that's fine. She doesn't really get into the field much anyway. Uh, next up is the environmental advocate and hers, her outfit suffers the absolute most. I'm afraid those jeans are entirely screened. The little details, there's no stitching there. It is just screened on. Um, there are Velcro closures in the back. Her shirt is a separate piece and it is tucked in. Uh, she has little pink sneakers on and I believe, in fact, she is on the petite body. Um, her sculpt is really, really lovely. She's got thick, dark, thick eyebrows with dark eyes and a light pink lip. Uh, she has a little camera with her and like a Barbie loves the earth poster placard. I guess she's gonna go raise hell in front of uh, Trump Tower. Uh, I would too, frankly, but I'm here today. So the if the clothing feels good for sustainably made, uh, and I do like the design, I just wish uh, the old monster high detail were in them. Um, let's see, next up we have our conservation scientist and I think she's a darling. Uh, she's got a little bit of a problem with box hair right now. Um, I will kind of fluff that back into place. But she ha also has dark brown eyes with a kind of neutral lip. Uh, she's got some lo a long green, uh, kind of like a field shirt with some olive green pants. Uh, the coolest boots. These are very much the kind of thing that I would wear uh, regardless. Probably not field work. Uh, I don't think I would wear like high top docks for the field but that's just me. And she has a pair of binoculars. She also has this little, I don't know, I guess this is his notebook. It does not open. It's just a piece of plastic, but it's cute. You know, um, I can see that being very good imaginative play for this genre. And finally, uh, we have my darling, uh, the renewable energy engineer and her hair, hard hat does not want to stay on. And that's very, very annoying. I want it to stay on because I love it. Uh, she has blue eyes, a light pink lip. She's got a pink polo shirt on. I am, I am not a fan of polo shirts in the field personally, uh, but she does have a, I want to say like a class three safety vest at the the reflective stripes are unfortunately screen printed. They are not actually uh, sewn on uh, as opposed to, I do have a, an American Girl safety vest that I bought from a wonderful user on Etsy and that does have actual reflective tape on it. Um, she's got uh, skinny black pants and definitely uh, what's the analog to red wings. She's got her steel toes on, she's good, you know, she's. She is, I'd say, you know, she, if she was going to be at an active field site, she may need safety glasses. Um, but for all intents and purposes, as long as those are steel toes and there's, if there are overhead hazards, then she is doing all right. She appears to have a tablet uh, with some solar panels on it. And there's also this, which came with it. I think that's supposed to be for her as well. This may actually be a solar panel. 
and that's kind of neat. Uh, but ultimately, this is a pretty cool collection. If you've got if you've got young children that are interested in environmental sciences, or if you are an environmental scientist yourself, and you're looking to give a gift to, you know, someone who may have a respect for or an understanding of environmental consulting Barbies, um, this is going to be the way to go. I, like I said, I believe they're about $30 on Amazon. I don't know if they are available in store. They may be, I would check online. Um, I will drop the hard hat in the comments. Now, if you are in the environmental sciences and you happen to come across this video, let me know what you think. Uh, I think it's, it's fairly good. Uh, there are, are subtle changes that I would probably make, but I, I can see that they were ones that were made to make Barbie more appealing instead of a little bit more factual. But it's, it's nice to see the representation. Um, it's, you know, funny how that works, really. But thank you all so much for hanging out today, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, if you want to see some more doll videos, more Barbie videos, you're in luck. I got a whole bunch, and I'll link some at the end of this one. Thank you so much. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later!